Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without your support, this doesn't work. Now, me and Mike, we're here working on some of the racks for you guys so we can get those out. And the great thing is, proceeds from selling these racks are actually going to go to helping save history. Uh, we're rebuilding the Red Brick House. A lot of you guys have known I've had this for several years and haven't found a way to get working on it. Well, this past week, we actually met with a structural engineer who, by the 5th of June, is actually going to have our plans together so we can get our permit. So this summer, we'll actually be working on the Red Brick House. If you want to be part of the GoFundMe, I'll put the link in the description here if you want to help out. Or if you want to buy a rack, that'll definitely help out as well. So here, this is a look at underneath of the house. And Q, I know you're scared of ghosts, but as many times as I've been in there, nobody's bothered me. In fact, I think they're kind of happy that we're trying to save the house. So go ahead and get scared. Here we go. So as we're walking back through time here, you can see some of these aren't in really good shape, but yeah. my hope is we end up putting, uh, and you can tell me what will be the easiest way and most cost effective way, but mm -hmm. the flooring itself is actually in really good shape. And I want to keep this in here because of the age of it. So that way we can kind of show it. Mm -hmm. Now I think what happened was this was just a crawl space and they dug it out yep and that's going to make it i don't know if that's going to make it a problem to go ahead and get this floor to float well what it what it creates a problem with so luckily it's harder to tell on this side but it looks like over here they actually took the block all the way down all yeah. the way down a little bit beyond which is good news because normally what would happen is you'd just see the row of stones sitting mm -hmm. out here. Yeah. And and then they excavate right up to it and it's it's been here for, for a very long time. But like you can see over here where it's kind of falling apart mm -hmm. and, and failing. Yeah, honestly, and, right and, and see they, they tried to put like a beam in here and it actually looks like some more of the brickwork actually has come off of here. Cause well I, there's I mean there's extensive Damage. Yeah, damage. yeah. Now we had put this in here just kind of temporarily to oh, help yeah, short yeah. up so we didn't fall through it while yeah, we're working exactly, in here. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. So as far as ways to support this, ideally, I would want to come down to here mm -hmm. and come up. Right. I don't trust that shelf. Mm, yeah, that, that that's definitely what I was thinking too because I figured that's just going to crumble when we go into it. And so, I just want to give you a little bit more control. So you're talking joists through here. I think you have some options because what you're going to end up with, what I'm what I'm seeing, is something running the length here, an LDL mm -hmm. running the length here, mm -hmm. dropped down. Right, and, and another one over here. Same thing here, mm -hmm. drop down, and then you're going to take your joists over top of it. Okay. Now the. The most cost-effective way to do that would be conventional framing. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't say for sure because we're going to have to cantilever it a ways. Yeah, that's so, yeah. So I can't say for sure that we'll be able to do that with just two by twelves. Um, you know, what are these joists? So, yeah, they're two foot. So that's. Well, if we have to take out a couple of them, you know, because there's a few of them that are, are in yeah. worse shape than others, well, and what we can do is we can, can make some other ones that well, are similar. What I'd like, uh, I mean, 16 inches on center. This is thick enough to span 24 mm -hmm. inches. So yeah. what, what you're going to be at, you can look at conventional framing, possibly at, at 16 inches on center, and then, you know, you may have to drop or shift it a little bit mm -hmm. one or the other. Yeah. Um, or we could probably go actual two foot on center, but would need to do, uh, TJIs okay. instead of, instead of conventional framing and TJIs are going to be cheaper than LVLs. Using LVLs to span this would get pretty expensive and yeah. not necessary. I, I don't think you're going to, you're going to want the LVLs as beams and we can, well, actually thinking about it. Do you care how many posts you have down here? Uh, no. Uh -uh. As long, well, here's the thing. I want to hold up for another 200 years. Well, sure, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, um, not, I'm not proposing any You know, if we're digging a, 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 a 16 by 16, you know, 
uh, spot for them. We can put the steel steel icons. We can do that. So so what I, where where I'm headed is we could build a wood framed wall with a smaller like strip footing, 12, 16 inches wide, okay. going all the way down. And then you can then you don't need LVLs. You're just you're just framing out a wall on the inside. That's one option. Okay. And you can do that on both sides. Or we can do the steel columns and LVLs. That I that's think, gonna be up to you. I don't it doesn't matter to me. We can get the same performance, the same I think I'd rather do the, the LVLs and the steel columns. Okay. Set the footers and stuff in there to mm -hmm. go ahead and carry it. Um, it'll keep it a little bit cleaner up beneath here, I think, sure. than if we build that whole wall. Because yeah, what, I, I, what, what I really want to be able for people to see is I want them when they come back down in here to be able to walk in through time. Because you're looking at these walls that were, you know, this is put handmade brick, you know, made 200 years ago. Yeah. I wanted to be able to see these original posts. Now, sure. I, I don't know what I can do to try and help preserve them for longer. Um, just so we can kind of get an idea of what the construction would have been like at that time. Okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try to keep the LVL as shallow as I can. Mm -hmm. So like I'm going to have to balance posts, how many posts you have. Now I got no problem. No, no, here's what's funny is my parents' house in Vienna is, uh, was built in during reconstruction. Okay. And so they've got like a cutout over here, which is like a coal bin. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those cellars that literally I have to go like this <laughs> to get down in there. So if it ends up being that the LVL has to probably be down about here by the time we get the two by two by twelves so you're looking at for the floors. I'm hoping. Okay. Um, so that's putting that LVL down about here. That's okay. Cause what we can do is we'll just have to, hopefully we can get it close to where we don't have to have to block the door way in here yeah so so what we'll look at first is here if we yeah we got this that's, that's concrete mm -hmm. okay so yeah we might be able to set a post back in here and then cantilever you know a foot or so with the lvl that isn't as much of a concern okay how about this okay is this possible since we've got this here, mm -hmm. and basically we're talking about this expanse here, can we do just something separate here so that way we keep the entrance way? And then we start the LVLs right here and go all the way down the rest of the way. You know what I mean? Because if we end up putting that wall so we're missing all of this, we're kind of blocking the doorway. Well, what's going to have what you'd have to do is either angle it, mm -hmm. so that's going to put you here, and then but you, I mean, it won't be too bad, but okay. we kind of have, to, so that's one option. The other option would be to put a short section here and this could be yeah. two by 12 or whatever it needs to be right. in here. And then start, like you were saying, start your new one here and kind of have this one run long and this one run long. Yeah. If we started like right here with that one, we can get in and out. And like you said, if we can use that yeah. to support. I think, I think for, for yeah. what little bit, and considering that George the short, Right. That was so, full length, but um, yeah, this is the old chimney yeah, uh, part of the fireplace. Yeah, you're a significant amount of load, and I think we can use this okay. for just that little bit. And this would be another option, is to, to come in and just build a stud wall in this section. We can do, yeah. That yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's easy. Um, because you're you know a couple of foot. Right, right up um, underneath of it. And you can leave it open, like so mm -hmm. you can still see just okay. at sixteen inches. You are the man. I didn't realize I had all this old glass back in here. Okay. Um, so that's, thinking about it, that's the way I would lean here. Mm -hmm. And then you can start with your first column right in this section. So you'll be able to get in, and then you can run it straight back. And okay. You, you know, column every six, eight foot, whatever it ends up being. Okay. Um, running back into here. Yeah. And there'll be a little bit of excavation over there. In Not a problem. To get down to some to good grade now, that looks like that's been excavated and failed somewhat yeah um over here would be just now this is where i can, would be concerned with if how far down does that wall go down over in there and how far would we be able to cantilever it because i think we'd probably want to stay away from well because so, what i'm remembering is when they ended up working on the bricks on the corners mm -hmm. especially over here Basically, there was no foundation footing. It was basically the bricks was right on the ground. 
So this is part of the original section of the house, mm -hmm. and more than likely, that's going to be the case over here as well. Yeah, so what we've got a few things to balance. What we're going to have to balance is how far, so we've got number of posts and how far we can mm -hmm. space them. That's going to be dependent on size of LVL we use. What's also going to be dependent on the size of LVL is how far it can cantilever back toward that hole. And okay. Like that is, looks like it's going to be the longest span. So mm -hmm. that's kind of going to, con that's going to kind of control because I would rather not put anything on that. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I so agree 100%. We're gonna, like we're going to be stuck kind of in that corner as close as we can get without disturbing this existing soil because at this point, you know, I'd be afraid of making things worse by right. sort of excavation. Didn't do that. Yeah. That one, that one is still solid over in here. Yeah, in that really pocket. What we're looking at is to, to reinforce it. If you're, if you're talking about having people in here especially, we want to make sure that we've got enough capacity in this floor that we're not causing causing damage. And if right. we can take the load off of these exterior walls and mm -hmm. put it into concrete footings in here. Yeah. You're gonna help this wall. Now do we need to do it need to worry about anything as far as where this is cut uh, to support this? Where this is dug out? Yeah, so I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> you know, I'm not looking to do more work than I have to, but I, I got to make sure that we keep it so, safe. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're taking a lot of weight off of this wall, mm -hmm. which is good. And it's going to, you know, we're really just supporting this floor, we're not supporting the exterior walls, ceilings, things like that. Help, like, getting this ventilated a little bit, keeping it dry is also going to help. Mm -hmm. Um You're, see, here's 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 the issue. The way to fix it is to pour a concrete wall in the end. On That's the what I was okay. thinking about. And and doing that is going to reinforce this soil and keep it from caving in. It can work double duty as you you can post up your beam from from the top of that wall. So then you're talking about having a wall, a concrete wall, up to here. And then, and then putting a our beams shorter up shorter post, even possibly a wood post instead of steel, because you don't, you're not uh, definitely a wood post. You could probably do four by fours or hmm. through there, but that okay. concrete's going to be expensive. Putting yeah. It in. The other, the other option is to keep an eye on it, do what you can to mitigate other things like mm -hmm. moisture and and just. There's no way, other way, really, to reinforce it. I mean, you can do like soil anchors and stuff, but that's that's not going to hold. You'd have to put a lot of those in to to make a difference. So, so basically, so if we ended up putting a wall on here, how far down are we going to dig for a footer? Because that's the bigger worry. Is if well, I dig a footing in inside here inside of here, when it's inhabited, you're not going to have to worry about frost heave as like you would have to worry about an exterior wall. So you could really come in and like you have to excavate that corner. But you could, what I would do is just find my low spot in here and level it, and then level it out, and then you just have a strip footing through here. And again, you can post up every six, eight, ten foot, but you're gonna have concrete up to here going across. Okay, so, so pour a footer on there and then build a, a concrete yeah, wall. So yeah, build, or or a, kind of like a retaining wall. And then it's also going to support this. Okay. That's that's probably like okay. So that would be what I would call the we'll call it the Cadillac plan. <laughs> okay. Um, that is. How about the broke ass plan? Would the, be the broke ass plan <laughs> would be six by six posts on twenty four inch square concrete footings. Maybe not even that big. Maybe sixteen inch square. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, again, it depends on post spacing things mm -hmm. like that. Um, that's just sort of guesses right now on an LVL or two by twelves if we can make it work with two by twelves or TGI okay. choice. That's the I think that's the cheapest way you're gonna be able to do it. Cost effective. <laughs> Call it better work. Okay. Yeah. Least well, exp it's not even gonna be cheap. Least expensive. <laughs> yeah. And it it'll, what that will do is that'll hold the floor. That will absolutely support the floor. You won't have an issue with that. It's gonna take weight off of your exterior walls, which is gonna help Maintain the stability mm -hmm. of these along with doing some other things in here, ventilating, just keeping it keeping it dry, drier, 
because it's it's not all that bad right now. No, and, and it never has been. It's actually been pretty. It, I'm actually pretty amazed because, you know, you can see a lot of the wooden stuff that's been in here that moisture has not done anything to. Mm -hmm. The um, in fact, when you think about these. These are still solid. The only problem is, is where they got moisture um, in the ends, where the where they actually went into the walls, into the pockets. Right, because all that masonry just sucks up moisture and dumps it right in the right. beams. And then there, I mean, there is some insect damage. Yeah. Too, but that's slightly can be moisture related, but they're okay. also two hundred years old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, thoughts on it? Is it worth keeping? <laughs> It, that's always going to be up to the owner. And um, that's me. It's it's old. It's historical. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that lives in Port Republic that has a house that predates the Civil War, mm -hmm. and it's got it was used as a hospital. So it has in his dining room. He's got like initials carved with dates from 1863, 1860, things like that. Okay. Um, which, and that's really, really cool. Yeah. And so, like, he redid it, but he left those things exposed so you can see. Mm -hmm. um, he is a contractor, and I, every time I talk to him, I ask him, you know, how close are you to done? And that number always changes. He's never done. Oh, I'm never going to be done with it. <laughs> so, so this. This will be a labor of love. This is that this is something that you will probably be working on until you either die or sell it. <laughs> and, and 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 you know, obviously things will get much much better, and then you'll just be doing little things mm -hmm. here and there. It will require some maintenance, and you know, other things are going to go wrong. And as you fix one thing, you're going to realize, oh wow, okay, yeah, oh, we, we've we've done this now, so now I need to do this. Um, Knowing that, you kind of have to think about, all right, well, this isn't going to be cheap. This isn't going to be something that is going to be over quickly, necessarily. Mm -hmm. This repair we're talking about. This is the worst of it. Uh, surprisingly, the second floor floor is, is actually pretty good. This in the kitchen, that floor. But, you know, the rest of it, once you get this part squared away, then the rest of it gets to be basically a lot easier. It's yeah. reparting the walls and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's some, uh, we got to make some more lime mortar and repair some of the mortar and stuff in there, of course, so that mm -hmm. way you can still breathe. But that that's yeah. not so bad. Yeah. I mean, like I said, can it be done? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Will it be prohibitively expensive no i don't think so nah. if you didn't have a plan for it you're like oh yeah well, it's something i'll just do and it'll be fun uh, i don't know that i would i don't know that i would do it but if you have a plan for what you want to do with it um if there's any sort of historical value it is the third oldest masonry school in the country it so, was originally built by a Revolutionary War soldier who took his money and decided, I want to educate people. It became the Lee Lodge, Masonic Temple after the Civil War, mm -hmm. and the Battle of Waynesboro came through it. So there's, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot here to, yeah. to want to keep. And it's, it's a worth at least taking a run at. Okay. I, I, I All right. Think. So if you can do the drawings and stuff, that'll get me the permit on it and uh, figure out what'll be. Um, sometimes the cheapest price isn't the cheapest price. I want <laughs> to. Well, no, I've learned that a lot of times. Okay, that's going to be cheap, but then you're going to have to go back and redo it. I want to make sure that the flooring system is is real good. Um, I like the idea of instead of building walls, I'd rather go ahead and put posts in there and mm -hmm. and be able to build it out from underneath of there. Um, if we can go ahead and do the short wall over there, that would be great. Mm -hmm. And if you can design that one so I can get a building permit, then we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that. And um, get you some drawings on, on what needs to done, be done. Okay. What, you, what we'll probably do, and, and I'll take some pictures and, and okay. do, take some measurements here in a minute once we're through talking. But um, We'll get you a plan view, kind of you know, looking down on it. This is where your stud mm -hmm. wall is. This is where your post will yeah. go, and then we'll do a typical section of like the post up okay. to the or to the floor joist, um, and we'll run those floor joists up to the existing exterior walls, but not through. Not through, them. right? So what you may end up needing to do, and, and you may want to consider putting some sort of blocking or, or something like there where the where the log is completely right. deteriorated. Just okay. Filling that in with something. 
Uh, I'm a woodworker, so yeah, so, some trees, so what I might do is well. is is basically I, I can go through and like if I have ones that are messed up, I can kind of cut out that section and make a new one and splice them in there together. Yeah, if you want to. So wait, so like that, so it looks like the originals and things because yeah. you know I, I want it to look when somebody comes in here that they literally feel like they're walking through time. So yeah, that that would be. A, see, a that's, nicer way to do it. See, those are okay, and it's just the kind of end. So if I go in, I can kind of dovetail cut mm -hmm. into those, get the other piece slid in there, and then that way you can see where it's been Yeah, uh, and that, put that'll into help it. support the end of that floor. Okay. That's really what we're looking at is what I'm most concerned about because the floor, the outside floor is fine, but the exterior wall is what we what I want. Well, the other thing I can do floor. too is because I'm, I'm I've got my brick mason. He can come back out. Um, I've got some of these old um, the uh, I've got the Williamsburg bricks is what they called them. Um, he can come back through and he can actually redo some of the stuff that's around here. That's uh, the bricks and stuff have kind of crumbled a little bit there. Yeah. And helps. Yeah. So with, then the other option would be to just you know, brick those back in. And, yeah. Yeah. So you you've got some choices there. And it sounds like you were already kind of looking at that, so that's great. Um, that's all that I can really think of offhand. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to let you go ahead and get to uh, doing your thing. Uh, but how long do you think it'll take to do the drawings for? Uh, a couple of weeks? A couple of weeks at the far end. I'd say we can probably, what's today, when, Thursday? Mm-hmm. We might be able to get you something by next Friday. Oh, well, Monday's a holiday, though, so. Uh, you're good. You're good on that one. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's not, great timing. Not next week, but. The, the week, week after. after. That would be fantastic. We can get you. And then I can get it down to Waynesboro and uh, get the permit for it, and then we can start coming down and getting started on this. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a winner. All right.